My name is Tim Warner. My Twitter handle is TechTrainerTim, and I'm here to teach you how to add current Microsoft Azure icons to your PowerPoint presentations. Now, technically, yes, if you're an Azure architect or administrator or developer, you may use Visio to do the same thing. The technique I'm going to show you here in PowerPoint works the same way in Visio or any other application. But let's assume that you're developing a PowerPoint presentation. In this case, I have a slide dealing with a relatively new Microsoft Azure feature called Azure AD Privileged Identity Management. And we've got some content here, as you can see, but on the left part of the slide, I want to put in the actual icon for Azure AD PIM. Wouldn't that make my presentation really pop? Well, I agree, it certainly would. So what do you normally do? You normally pop a browser open, and you do a search for what's called the Microsoft Azure Cloud and Enterprise Symbol Icon Set. This is a good selection of tools, but it's not updated all that often. The download page, which we're looking at right now, has a detail section, and we can see as of this recording in early summer 2019, version 2.7 is the current, and that's February of 2018. I've downloaded the zip and unpacked it, and there's a lot of really great stuff in here, actually. If you go under symbols, all of the icons are broken into categories, as you see here. If I step back one and let me do a search in my file explorer for star VSS, there's a whole bunch of Visio stencils that already have the shapes populated. So if you're a Visio fan like me, you'll definitely want to go that direction. Otherwise, you'll drill into a category and they have the image representations in ping and SVG format. SVG are cool because you can scale them, they're vector images, without losing any crispness. The downside is that SVG can be a little bit gnarly to get to render in your applications. So for that reason, ping or PNG might be a better case. Now the problem here is that, as I said, Azure moves so quickly and the team who makes the icons, they don't move slowly necessarily, but they're not updating this every couple months. So if we try to look for PIM, we're not going to find anything. Azure AD, no. How about Azure Active? We can find some Azure Active Directory icons, but we're not finding exactly what we need. So what we're going to do to solve this problem is install a Chrome extension. How do you do that? Well, we can just do a search here. I'm in Chrome. It's called Amazing Icon Downloader. So I'm going to search for Amazing Icon Downloader Chrome extension. And we see my friend Chris Peachman, who you might know is the owner of the Build Azure blog. Looks like he has a link here to it. He talks about the author, Matt. Matt had a V1 of this tool, and he changed its name. It looks like here's the extension. I'm going to put a short timw.info URL overlaid on the screen to help you with this shortcut. But So this is it, Matt Legrandjur, Amazing Icon Downloader. We're going to add this extension to Chrome. In a moment, it'll show up. There we go. There's the icon. And our next task is to log into the Azure portal and try to find the closest configuration blade to what you're looking at. If we want the Azure AD Privileged Identity Management icon, then it makes sense to me, I think, for us to go into this feature and drill in it a little bit. And once you see the icon on screen or you think it's nearby, we can now come up to the amazing icon downloader extension and look for it. This is the part that's a little bit tedious. Matt did some good work. What this Chrome extension does under the hood, it scrapes all of the HTML in the Azure portal and scrapes out only the references to icons. In some cases, he's able to scrape a descriptive name. In other cases, he's not. In fact, we can see what we're looking for right at the top of this list, this FX symbol. I'm going to change this to Azure AD PIM and click Download. So it's now bringing this file down in scalable vector graphic or SVG format. Like I said, normally this can be a little bit of a problem. In fact, up until I upgraded my PowerPoint to version 2019 for Windows, I was not able to directly put the SVG directly into PowerPoint. Let me see if I have Visio installed on this system. No, I don't, unfortunately. SVGs can go into Visio just fine. So if you have an older version of PowerPoint that's not able to see the SVG graphics, one workaround would be to put the SVG into Visio, and then you can copy in Visio and paste into PowerPoint. 
If you are using the latest version of PowerPoint, though, I've found that it works with SVGs just fine. So back in PowerPoint, I'm going to go to Insert Pictures. We'll browse out to our desktop. We'll select the Azure AD PIM SVG image, and there it is. It comes in at whatever size it was in the portal. I'll resize it, place it in the screen, and this is really hot stuff because I'm able to update my PowerPoint presentation as current as the products are in the portal. That is very, very handy, I think you'd agree. Before I sign off, I'm going to show you one more thing, and that is if you do run into the case where you're running older PowerPoint, and maybe you don't have Visio, you can look up what are called SVG to PNG online converters. And there's a number of these converters. They all work the same basic way. Let me see if I can find one. Cloud Convert is one I've used quite a bit. The problem with these online converters is that sometimes the rendering is bad. Sometimes they'll give you a ping that looks just great. Other times the SVG will have color drops. So I'm going to go out and select the file from my desktop again. So long story short, you're going to have to experiment in order to do this. So we're ready to work. Let's start the conversion. It's going to upload the SVG, convert to ping, and then we can click download to bring the file back down to our system. Now, that looks pretty good. Let's go back to PowerPoint here and let me delete the vector and come back to insert pictures. And this time, let's choose Azure AD PIM.ping. Comes in at the same size, but when we boost it up, aha, not so good. And the reason for that is very simple to explain. PNG, the Portable Network Graphics format, is bitmap. So when you scale up, it's going to just create that same number of bits on a wider swath, so it's going to look pixely. I'm going to control Z a couple times to get my nice scalable vector graphic back on the screen. Alrighty, cool. Well, let me bring up my title slide again. We'll finish like we began. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. Please follow me on Twitter, Tech Trainer Tim. I post on Azure and education and certification every day. Thanks for joining me and take good care.